Hello, and welcome back to the Phantom Alchemist, where we mash things up like Play-Doh until all we're left with is that brown poopy color. My name is Kevin, and today we're hopping back into the world of My Hero Academia. Last week, we shipped characters from Class 1A with characters from Avatar The Last Airbender, so please be sure to check that video out if you haven't already. However, this week, we're taking Class 1A into the world of Nintendo, and mashing them up with Masahiro Sakurai's favorite child, Kirby. Kirby. I've been playing a lot of Smash Ultimate recently, and while playing Kirby and copying all the anime swords people, I, as usual, started to think. What powers would Kirby get if he copied Itadori, Asta, Tanjiro, and of course, Deku? So with one of the most diverse casts, I thought, what if he copied all of Class 1A? So we're gonna do just that. We're gonna answer the question, what if Kirby copied all of Class 1A's powers? Now, rather than making up new powers like in Smash, I wanted to more specifically see which of Kirby's existing powers he would get if he swallowed and copied each of the students' quirk. The copy abilities I'll be drawing from are any Kirby game released up until Star Allies, which means yes, all the Kirby 64 combinations will be included as well. Now this list is just my interpretation of what powers Kirby would get, but if you think of anything else, please be sure to leave it in the comments below. Alright, with that said, it's time to set off on a UA field trip to Popstar in 3, 2, 1. First up is Yuga Aoyama. Outside of being the ultimate troll, Aoyama's quirk is a navel laser, which when overused gives him a stomach ache. Luckily, Kirby has the perfect copy ability, laser, first premiering in Kirby Adventure. Even though the laser comes out of his eyes instead of his... wait, does Kirby have a navel? Oh no, now I'm picturing it. Anyways, Mina Ashido. Her quirk is acid, which she can secrete from her limbs and use to melt things. This would actually be a pretty unique concept in a platforming game, kind of like the thinner in Epic Mickey, if anyone remembers that game. But in the world of Kirby, I chose Poison. The way that Kirby uses Poison in the game matches almost identically to how Ashido typically fights. Next up is best girl Tsuyu Asui, and her quirk is Frog. This allows her to basically do anything a frog does. I was actually pretty surprised that a frog power-up of some kind didn't exist in Kirby already. So instead I went with Ninja. Ninja allows Kirby to stick to walls like Asui does. And like in the folktale The Tale of the Gallant Jiraiya, he's a ninja that actually rode frogs, so it totally works. Now it's time for Class 1A rep Tenya Ida. His quirk is Engine. Ida has engines essentially built into his calves, which makes him move super fast. So the Kirby ability would definitely need to do just that. Even though Wheel travels super fast, I think Jet would actually be a better fit. Aesthetically, it's also a perfect match to Ida's Ingenium suit. Up next is the other best girl, Ochako Uraraka. Her quirk is Zero Gravity, which allows anything she touches to become weightless, including herself. If it was a one-to-one, -one, I think this power could actually work similarly to Silver's in Sonic 06, but like, actually no! good. But regarding Kirby powers, the closest thing to me was High Jump, which allows Kirby to jump really high just like Uraraka does from time to time. Now onto the normal and ordinary Tail Man, Mashirao Ojiro. His quirk is... Tail. Surprise, surprise. But Ojiro uses his tail to massively upgrade his martial arts ability, acting almost as a fifth limb. In this instance, I thought Whip Kirby made the most sense. I thought the Whip could actually really serve as a solid stand-in for the tail, and it's also super versatile in combat. It's everyone's favorite lovable idiot, Denki Kaminari. His quirk is electrification, which basically allows him to discharge electricity. Kirby kinda has two electric-like powers, spark and plasma. And honestly, I don't really know the difference, but one thing I know is that plasma focuses more on projectile attacks, which makes more sense to match up with Kaminari. But honestly, either could have worked. Now on to Bakugo's bestie, Eijiro Kirishima. Kirishima's quirk is hardening, which allows him to harden his body and act as a defensive wall. This one was super easy. When copying Kirishima, Kirby will get the stone ability, which allows Kirby to cover his body in stone, and basically act in the same way that Kirishima does in battle. An impenetrable force. Next up is Koji Koda. His quirk is Anavoice, which allows him to control animals to do his bidding like some souped up Snow White. This is kind of cheating, but when copying Koda, Kirby will summon Rick, Kine, and Ku to play like they did in Star Allies. I also thought of the animal power up, but summoning other characters just fits more with Koda's quirk in my opinion. Up next is Rikido Sato. His quirk is Sugar Rush, which makes him super strong when he eats sugar. Sato has this wrestler aesthetic, so the Kirby copy ability he would get would be the brand new power-up Wrestler from Fighters 2, which I know is technically after Star Allies, but 
Anyways, Wrestler uses both punches and grappling, which definitely represents Sato's fighting style perfectly. Mezo Shoji Probably the weirdest character in my opinion, Shoji's quirk is Dupla Arms, which is a mutant type quirk that allows his extra arms to transform into other body parts like eyes and a mouth. As you can probably predict, there's no Kirby power that does that, so the closest thing to me is Ice and Needle from Kirby 64. The snowflake growing and creating more parts to it is probably the best way to imitate his multiple arms. I don't know, if you think of anything better, please let me know in the comments. Now onto our other recon classmate, Kyoka Jiro. Jiro's quirk is Earphone, which allows the earphone jacks in her earlobes to be used to sense vibrations, but also can magnify her heartbeat to create a powerful sound wave. This one was another easy one. When copying Jiro, Kirby will get Mic, which also creates powerful sound waves. Simple, but perfect. Next up is my boy, Hanta Sero. Sero's tape quirk allows him to shoot tape from his elbows. Man, saying it out loud sounds so dumb, but in practice, he's basically Spider-Man. So when copying Sero, Kirby will get Spider. Spider wraps up enemies in a web, which is very similar to how Sero wraps up his opponents. Or just Mineta. Fumikage Tokoyami. His quirk is Dark Shadow, which has a shadow-like being in his body that he can use for attack, defense, and he has a bird head. But instead of just using the bird copy ability, I decided to go with Stone and Spark combo from Kirby 64, which shoots a stone out tethered by electricity. Even though they're quite different, I think fundamentally and functionally, the Stone and Dark Shadow act pretty similarly. Next is Shoto Todoroki. His quirk is half hot, half cold. This allows him to use his left side to burn and his right side to freeze. Now, there's a power in Kirby 64 that is exactly that, but it sucks and doesn't do Shoto any justice. So instead, I decided to go with a Sheik Zelda-like combo from Smash, where Kirby would switch between both Fire Kirby and Ice Kirby. It's everyone's favorite invisible girl, Toru Hagakure. Her quirk is invisibility, which means she's invisible. No duh. But she also has a second ability to light up her body with a big flash. Because of this, when Kirby copies Hagakure, he gets light. This power from Kirby Adventure and Nightmare in Dreamland allows him to light up dark rooms. Katsuki Bakugo. His quirk is Explosion. Bakugo is able to make explosions from igniting his nitroglycerin-like sweat. And if you haven't seen the show, trust me, it's much cooler than it sounds. When swallowing Bakugo, Kirby will of course get the bomb copy ability. An explosion is an explosion, right? Now onto All Might's successor, Izuku Midoriya. Midoriya, or simply Deku, wasn't born with a quirk, but rather inherited All Might's quirk one for all, which is kind of a bunch of quirks in one. So when copying Deku, Kirby will get the fighter ability because of its versatility, but it's also pretty similar to how Deku fights. It's the perfect class 1A, Minoru Mineta. Mineta's quirk is Pop Off, which allows him to pull balls from his head which are sticky to everyone else, but Mineta can bounce off of them. Copying Mineta will give Kirby bubbles. The power doesn't really act like pop-off, but it's still a small round thing, so good enough for me. Last but not least, we have Momo Yayorozu. Her quirk is Creation, which allows her to create anything out of the lipids of her body as long as she knows what the objects are made of. When copying Yayorozu, Kirby will get Artist. Artist allows Kirby to create things out of his canvas and also food if he paints up the refrigerator from Kirby 64. Ooh, all right. That was all the powers Kirby would get if he copied all 20 students from Class 1A. Let us know in the comments what powers you think Class 1B would give Kirby, or any other crossovers that you're thinking of. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you next time. Later, guys!